Right, Mr. Dave Asprey, this video is for you. I made this video to show you the improvements and the amendments on the engine bay. Right, as you can see, let's start with the turbo. The turbo drain is converted to anodized ANN fitting, air equipped stainless steel pipe, and a K27 made custom made flange. So that's sorted all the way to the block. Is the same mounting anodized and quick ends at the bottom. I've changed the damp pipe and the uh, mounting bolts into bolts from studs, obviously, because if you have studs, it's impossible to remove the damp pipe in case you need to remove it. So the damp pipe is bolted onto the, the turbo with stainless steel 10 mil bolts. Then the leads. As you can see, the leads are 8 mil silicon carbon kit, they're all insulated, triple, aluminium folding. I made the plate to hold the seal. Number one and two spark plug leads. They coated as well. Made the turbo flange goes all the way to the bottom. Anodizing again, air equipped fittings for the breather pipe on the tank tank. I've removed the, um, the wiring loom that goes on top of the fuel rail. Now it goes all underneath, all you can see the top the injectors. The lambda sensor fit, lambda bolt on top of it. Low pressure uh, gate wire goes right underneath the manifold. No more water leaks, no more oil leaks. All the leaks have been sorted. Now uh, the coil pack has been um, bolted to the bulkhead. Extended the uh, coil pack um, supply wires. Power distribution plug is not to need to be done. Obviously, it's not done yet. That's the next on the agenda. Adjusted the rockers again. 30 mil the inlet, 33 the exhaust. I left the exhaust a bit loose. Obviously, because uh, they're going to get hot, and it's better for them to be loose a bit. I've insulated the bolt, the um, inner balance. Insulated the screamer pipe and the bypass uh, pipe. the bottom pipes, the vacuum outlet of the manning hole to the bottom, the old blank, and I'm taking the vacuum from the bottom, um, top nipples I've made, the extra nipples, it's much nicer nickel now, the old one underneath, the crank sensor goes underneath, the lambda sensor goes underneath, and the map sensor goes underneath. As you can see, it's right at the bottom where the uh, manifold supports for the block. It's running sweet as an app now. Still a lot of imperfections to be done, like adjustments of the uh, suspension, the bonnet linings. Uh, I'm thinking of cutting a vent right in here, to let the heat go out of the turbo exhaust. I've insulated the, um, the washer bowl.
manifold. Come on the other side at the bottom. We go straight down there. The alternator bracket is still the same original. Had no luck with the bushes, but I still have to change the bracket, go to the E34 setup. But that at the later stage, obviously wanted to get it run and get it all tested now. Accelerate the cable, make it nice and neat. Still no luck with it, still halfway. But then again, something else to sort out in the future. All nice and neat now, temperature stays cool. Normal operating temperature, no pressure. Dumb valve to be fitted right here, but not as yet. That's on the plan. This bottle have to be changed. It's running sweet. That's it for now, I'll speak to you later.